Hi everyone, my name is Garrett English. I'm the Director of Academic Engagement at CBU and I'm going to be walking you through completing the Teradata forms. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is find a computer and please don't try this on your cell phone. Most students have issues settling with the formatting of this website that doesn't work well, but find a computer and go onto your browser and uh, type in calbaptist.teradata.com. It's going to bring you to this home page where you have study abroad, faculty-led programs, domestic travel. So this third picture, uh, which has the James Building, the library, and it says domestic travel, click on that picture. Now you're going to have a list of programs, so you're going to want to scroll down and find your program. In this case, we're going to be clicking on EGR 103 service learning. So click on, go ahead and click on that. So you're brought to this page. Um, you're going to want to click Start Forms. And then you're going to log in with Campus ID. So in my case, it automatically logs me in. It already knows who I am. Um, but just remember, if you guys are doing this for the first time, you're going to log in with your Lancer email and Lancer password. And if you have any issues, just reach out to us. Um, there's a contact on calbaptist.teradata.com, and we'll help you troubleshoot it. A lot of the times um, it's like a simple simple login issue and, and we can help you fix that. So you've logged in, you're now at program options. You're gonna to wanna to click select term, select the term that applies to you, in this case fall 2020, click continue. So you're gonna make it to the screen that has your application deadline, um, online application emergency information, travel release of liability, so what you guys are going to want to do first and foremost is click on get started. Now it's going to have a couple categories that you have to fill out. Fill out. So um, basically this is everything that the school needs and you guys may have done this through inside CVU but we also have to do it through Teradata so that um, there's multiple departments that need access to you guys' emergency contacts if something were to go wrong we have that information. So um, fill out your emergency contact name, a cell phone number, somewhere we can reach them, um, the second contact name, a second phone number, any allergies we should be aware of, prescription medication, and medical information. So in my case, I am not a student, and I'm just trying to show you a walkthrough. So I'm going to just put NA for each of these. So you can, all, you can either click save or done. Save is if you wanna come back to it. Done is basically I finished this form and I'm moving on to the next step. Now you can see it's been checked off. So now it's the travel release of liability. So look through the travel release and um, once you're in agreement, click sign and that will also get marked off. So now you can look down here on the completed requirement section both the emergency information and the travel release of liability are marked as completed requirements. So you guys are good. Um, the final step, scroll to the top, you can see two out of two, you've completed both your forms. The final step is to click submit your application. So you're gonna get a message that says successful pre-decision application submission. Basically that means that you're gonna be marked as accepted into, as accepted having completed your forms, and um, your instructor can go in there and make sure that you guys have completed everything. But based on your status, because you click that button, it will show that you have marked everything as completed. It's as simple as that. So if you guys have any questions, remember you can um, go to the home page and um, fill out a contact request or an info request, and we'll get in touch with you as soon as possible.